You're back with us this afternoon, broadcasting here from the Hyatt Trinidad and Tobago, where the 2024 edition of the Trinidad and Tobago Energy Conference is taking place. It's been quite an exciting time so far. We've been speaking to a lot of the stakeholders, a lot of the exhibitors. Joining me right now on set are Indar and Ramesh Budu. They are from Analyzer Services Trinidad Limited. This is a company that's been around for about 25 plus years. They have been operating up the islands, uh, in Guyana, in other parts of, of the region. Um, and you've also been a participant here at the Energy Conference for quite a few years. Gentlemen, from where you sit, and I know you do extensive work as well in Point Lisas. And tell me a little bit first about your company. We do have viewers from across the globe looking at this. Tell us about your company. Okay. So Analyzer Services is part of a group of companies based in Northern Europe, Norway, to be specific. North Scandalese, uh, with a presence in Sweden, Denmark, Finland and more lately, Turkey, China, and have recently opened an office in Houston. Mm -hmm. And of course, we have Analyzer Services, Trinidad Limited. We, uh, the bulk of our work is uh, we provide analyzers for the process industry, which includes, um, for the upstream companies, uh, sand detection, right? And an extension of that is pig detection. So we monitor for the presence of sand and we're able to also quantify the sand as a sand rate. So they can use this device to optimize maximum gas free, sorry, maximum sand free gas production. Mm -hmm. And downstream industry, the analyzers that we provide gives them real time monitoring on the, uh, the, the, on, on the process. So they can use for quality control in real time to optimize their products. So, gentlemen, knowing that you also do work and you have, um, you know, activity and operations happening in, in Trinidad, you've heard the laundry list of everything, all the developments that's been happening on the local energy landscape. I'm sure you're well aware of every single thing uh, that's been bandied about in the media and also confirmed through the ministry and government stakeholders and, and whatnot. Where do you see increased opportunity for your company and a company like yours heading into this new landscape, uh, Atlantic restructuring, uh, Dragon, we even have things like new solar development projects coming up. So we, it's up across the spectrum. Where are you going to find new opportunity for a company like yours to expand its footprint in Trinidad and Tobago? Well, Shelly, uh, the, the thing about uh, service companies, and we are essentially a service provider, we provide equipment as well as services um, to the energy industry as well as other sectors. Um, what drives a lot of our business would be work or new activity uh, by the operating companies. Mm -hmm. um, and as they in addition to which they, they need to maintain the existing infrastructure that they have. So there's always some degree of work with regards to maintenance, maintenance of what exists. As they do new work and as they are incentivized to, to spend additional investments, that creates new opportunities in Trinidad. Are you hopeful that the opportunities are going to materialize quickly? The theme of the conference is accelerating action. Well, How do you feel about that, given what we were just... Oh, yeah, a very good question. And we are very hopeful based on some of the things that were said yeah. around um, shortening timelines. Um, because essentially, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a commercial chain. Yes. It starts with investment by the operators, it trickles down all the way um, to all the different companies. Mm -hmm. So that, that, to, to us, that is the state of play in Trinidad. So there is optimism. Uh, beyond uh, Trinidad, of course, there's Guyana, mm -hmm. which is what everyone is looking for, for the future. And we also are looking in that direction. Mm -hmm. Where are the challenges that your company sees uh, and that you face when you're looking at, okay, we want to accelerate action. We want to expand our footprint. We want to do better. And, you know, the world is ahead of us and opportunity is ahead of us. What are the challenges and the obstacles that you are confronting on a daily basis? That's a uh, fluctuation in uh, free charges, mm -hmm. uh, difficulty in accessing foreign exchange because everything is purchased outside of Trinidad and Tobago and, uh, and, and meeting timelines. Mm -hmm. And what are some of the concrete things, having heard some of the discussions, what do you think that we could do? Um, what would you like to see done and on the priority list uh, for the policymakers in the country to address those challenges? I think there's a lot of unlocked investment potential. Mm -hmm. 
all the companies, all the operators keep saying that we need clarity as to what the future looks like um, that would allow them to get investment approvals. Yes, the ease and, of doing business. Correct. Yes. Um, and once that happens, and really and truly, that belongs to the authorities. Mm -hmm. um, and once that happens, then all companies benefit from that as a cascade effect. Now, there's been also conversations about several things like collaboration, diversification versus streamlining. What's your outlook and what's your company's outlook for the future? Definitely expansion into Guyana um, with, um, um, with the challenges that uh, that faces being a different country and their local content Those, requirement. Yeah. Um, we are very optimistic for Guyana having a downstream industry, mm -hmm. similar to what they've been discussing, similar to what exists in Point Lisas. That's where our niche um, expertise lies. Mm. Okay. Why is your company finally a company to watch? And what should we expect from your company in the next five years? Oh, uh, we, we provide highly specialized services. Um, we have highly trained technicians and engineers, and we provide and service safety and process critical equipment that all operators need. Mm -hmm. So we have established that sort of niche expertise, and we have a symbiotic relationship with our customers. Mm -hmm. um, we think that as we continue to push that envelope, um, and as opportunities appear and increase, we can ride those opportunities. And if I may add, um, you know, the, the company, the downstream companies in particular, they are trying to optimize their production. And um, so we, we hear they, they use the word process optimization. That's where we can add value in adding, in, in adding our analyzers um, that we uh, would specify, install, commission, and then provide the after sales, sales service. Mm -hmm. So um, you know, a few of the plans they've learned to recognize our work. So that's where our success story lies. Gentlemen, I want to thank you very much for sharing your story uh, with us. This is Indar and Ramesh Budu from Analyzer Services, Trinidad Limited, one of the companies exhibiting here in the exhibition hall upstairs at the 2024 edition of the Trinidad and Tobago Energy Conference here in Port of Spain. Stay with us. We'll be right back.